I remember coming in on a Monday morning and seeing Chris and meeting him for the first time. It was a very emotionally charged situation because he had been told that he had a terrible cancer. He had a condition where it affected his ability for his blood to clot. It's a very uncommon condition, but it's devastating. Really, when I came on, it was all about getting the diagnosis. We needed to get some tissue, and the only way to do that was to put a needle into his neck. I was asked to make effectively a life or death decision. I was told to say goodbye to Kath and the boys. It was an experience that still troubles me today, and um, an experience that I don't ever want to do again. There was a massive collaboration, multiple people were involved, and multiple people were very, very worried about the potential to do him harm. And just having little kids, it sort of tugs at your heartstrings. Ultimately, the procedure worked. They were able to diagnose what cancer it was. I didn't want to be that guy who came into hospital and then never left. Once we were given the drug, we were told that it was speculative. Within a space of seven days of having gone to Peter Mac, I was just told you're going home tomorrow if you'd like to. We walked away just blown away by the, the skill, the care that we received. You had consultants yeah. coming to see you long after they ceased to be involved in your care. Yeah. People just cared about him. It's a breath of fresh air, really. Um, and intensive care, you spend a lot of your time giving bad news. It's hard to imagine when I last saw him in the ICU that he looks like he does today. Chris was a lovely guy. The outcome so far has been fantastic.